Okay, guys. Um, sorry, we ran over t a bit over time there. M maybe, can someone time 10 minutes? Or let me just get my clock up. So I'm going to just talk for five minutes. All right. So can everyone see my slides clearly? Right. I don't work for AWS. I work for a local company called Spool. But I am, since I'm AWS, uh, what do you call it, user group organizer, I was sponsored to go to reInvent. So this is my report from Las Vegas. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> oh, yeah. So um, as I was mentioning, um, I, I am sponsored by, and I'm very grateful for Amazon, but at the same time, I want to keep like super honest with you guys. So I hope you can um, take my grumbling um, attitude. But um, yeah, um, uh, here, here we go. I mean, going to reInvent is like quite special. It costs like $1,800 to go there. Is anyone else going to reInvent besides myself? Okay, and, and I got like perks to go to the, the keynote. Um, so, and I got free booze. That was terrible. <laughs> But what, but what is reInvent? Um, it's the AWS conference. It's where you go to meet your peers, to meet other people like you, which might be a nightmare for a week, but uh, uh, it was a nightmare. No, it wasn't a nightmare. It was a nightmare. It was, it was pretty, it was interesting. It was basically Las Vegas was taken over by like 43,000 other people just like us. <laughs> it's quite bad, isn't it? Um, but at this AWS reInvent, it, it is, uh, for me at least, the opportunity to meet the people who develop like S3, CloudFront, all the services that the, my, my company uses. And if I'm really lucky, get to meet the people who make the software. And I don't know how you communicate with your a AWS folks, but like through the contact form, it's, a very, it's very like impersonal, isn't it? It's not very nice. But when you, when you meet like the guy that's responsible for the, the Golang SDK, and you, and you don't even have to discuss anything. If you just sort of high-five each other, I think that's a special human contact, and, and then we can start like, you know, taking it to Twitter. I mean, keeping to the AWS support <laughs> form, obviously. <laughs> um, the sessions are like spread all across um, Las Vegas, and it's a real pain to get between the sessions. So in my, in my, in my, in my talk, which, which will be linked somewhere, I, I highly recommend you use this thing called YouTube. Have you heard of it? And you can catch up in the sessions whenever you like in your own time. And then what's special about being at reInvent is that you get inundated with announcements. I mean, um, yeah, I mean, if, okay. And, and I was just thinking to myself, um, you know, in a, in a week, like reinvent with all these announcements and compress. Is there something that you guys want to hear? I mean, do you guys like look forward to Christmas anymore? Probably not. <laughs> I hate Christmas. But uh, do you, did you guys expect any announcements out of interest? Just shout or just keep quiet. <laughs> I mean, uh, for, for me, I was I was hoping for some announcements. Um, um, oh, I think I got these slides mixed up. Uh, I, w I wanted to say that um, uh, that in the old days, there were, uh, with AWS, we went through a public beta and then it got pr into production. But now, the, recently, w there's closed betas. For example, the company that I work for, we were in the media package, media live, closed beta. I couldn't talk about it, even to my wife, who's really interested in my work. Now I have to keep it hush hush until the announcement, and then it becomes a public beta. Uh, and then it goes to production. Um, uh, and then, like, yeah, I, I think some people expect um, announcements to be innovative. But the argument I want to make tonight is that I don't want innovation from AWS. Hell no. I want lower prices. And unfortunately, uh, yeah, that didn't happen this year. <laughs> I, this is my personal wish list. The big problem that we have in Singapore, and I think you all know this as well as I do, is that we're, we're cock-blocked, I think is the cool term. <laughs> we are not getting all the services that AWS provide, and it really sucks. Like, I, I did a count on that terrible table, um, 
And I think we're missing about 52 of the 126 services. If, you, if you're very good at math, that's 3,000% of all the services that we're missing. Isn't it? Something like that. It feels like that. Because we don't have, like, we don't have Amazon Aurora. I mean, running, an, uh, running a fucking enterprise RDS is really, really expensive. If you have Aurora, it would be cheaper and faster. Can I have Aurora, please? Uh, and the list goes on. Can I have Firehose, please? Can we? Uh, these all sorts of services we're missing. <sighs> okay. These other things that I wanted. I wanted um, better IAM security stuff. Oh God, I don't want to get into it. I wanted GoLang Lambda support. Uh, I think uh, Donny revealed that one. I wanted more uh, like interesting stuff at Edge because. The big dream, the, the, the great thing about Amazon, it has, all the, it has the best internet, it has the best coverage of the world. I want to give my customers a lower latency service. So I want stuff at the edge. And I also want an edge base store, and I wanted some SNS improvements, and I wanted Singaporean companies to be able to sell in the marketplace. Unfortunately, <sighs> so what did, oh sorry, I skipped it. I skipped it. What I got? Oh God, what did I get? Uh, we got GoLang Lambda support, but to be honest, we had that before just with the JavaScript shim. And we did get an interesting announcement with Aurora Serverless and DynamoDB uh, Global Tables, but again, I don't think that's available in Singapore. So, shit. Um, but the promise is there. Um, and of course, the, the marketplace, unfortunately, is US only. So, I don't know about you guys, but um, one day I want to quit my employer. I mean, don't, don't say it. Just cut this bit out. I want to be my own man and have my own SaaS company. And um, I think the AWS marketplace is the best way to get inside an enterprise uh, sort of billing uh, process. Uh, so I want to be able to use the, um, the AWS marketplace to sell my software. And it's you. <sighs> okay. So there were a lot of announcements. Um, I, I wanted to boast that I have my own serverless function to DynamoDB. Um, and you can use that yourself, or you can use the DynamoDB backup. Is it available in Singapore? If not, use my script. <laughs> Otherwise, use theirs. I mean, I mean like, th there was lots of stuff that I didn't really care about. I don't know how you feel about like, machine learning. I think it's one of those huge bloody fads that we have every now and again. I hate this crap. <laughs> I really do. Like, I, I think the most important thing is to, to basically code logic, capture heuristics, figure out what works, test it, code it. Don't rely on a black box to do your bloody business. Are you insane? Anyway, that's SageMaker. Try it out. It might work out for you guys. <laughs> Kubernetes. Um, who uses Docker and Kubernetes? Guys, 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 there's this thing called serverless. And it's way, way better than managing your Docker, whatever instances, with, or cubes, or whatever they're called. I'm, I'm not a huge fan of Kubernetes or, or anything um, of that sort. You really should take the leap to, e uh, to, to serverless, sorry, not ECS. God, don't go to ECS. The, and Cloud9, I mean, am I the only idiot that uses Vim? <laughs> Have you guys used a browser to edit anything? It's so effing slow. And, and the use case about working with somebody? Oh my god, who works with somebody and codes at the same time? That sounds like torture. <laughs> Not me. I use Vim, I get my shit done, and I don't waste time. <clears throat> so the cloud line didn't really uh, tickle my fancy. So uh, yeah, I wanted to bemoan that Docker sucks. If you're using AMIs to roll out your, 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 uh, your stuff on EC2, you're doing it the right way. It's fast. It's simple. It's block level. Docker freaking containers is a nightmare. Um, and I, I, what I hate, just, I just while I'm here, Docker, Docker allows you with that stupid Docker file to add in like lots of crap. The beautiful thing about serverless is that you stick to your function, you stick to the core logic of what you're supposed to do. You're not like bringing in Ubuntu and some other like gems and all that stuff. And all of a sudden you have like, uh, we have a one gigabyte image to, to, to roll out. I mean, well, frickin' done. You, you've just your, your job is to reduce complexity, and I feel that Docker allows you to run away with it. So yeah, don't waste your time managing this stuff, and yeah, keep, keep it small, guys. Please keep it small. I, I'm doing it for your, I'm, I'm giving you good advice, I hope. <laughs> Back to reInvent. So if you like 
tour week was pretty grueling. I mean, there's jet lag. It's really, it, there's lots of crowds. There's lots of walking. Um, if you're not physically fit, I don't recommend it. <laughs> and uh, if you're really bad with tequila shots, like I was, I don't recommend it either. I, I threw up for the first time in a long time. I, sorry, I didn't mean to say that. I don't ever throw up. I can handle it. Um, uh, but there were some highlights. I scored at Bubble Ball. Have you ever heard of this game? It's probably the hardest game in the world where you, you're enveloped in a plastic bubble and people are charging you down. I scored. I, I, anyway, you had, to see, you had to be there. Uh, and I met some really great people there. And I'm really grateful for the opportunity to go there. But at the same time, I don't think I ever want to go back there. So, Steve, can you go next year or somebody else uh, to replace me, come back with a report? I am very, very happy to watch the videos in my own time, and I recommend you do so too. So, yeah. Uh, if you've never heard of YouTube, I really recommend it. Um, I actually have a YouTube channel where I sometimes cover some AWS topics, but, you, I mean, who, is anyone subscribing to my AWS channel? <laughs> Just me. Uh, and I highly recommend this thing, as I said uh, last meeting, called RSS, or RUS. Uh, this is the best way to find out stuff. Uh, like, even though I had the privilege or, you know, the special access to sit there at the keynote, when, you know, Andy Jassy's band was coming on, the music was blaring and everything is everything, I just thought to myself, I wish I was at, in my hotel room looking at the screen, it would have been so much nicer. <laughs> and you guys can do it from Singapore because the internet's quite good. Uh, oh, finally, I just wanted to say that, um, yeah, the, I, I guess reInvent is just like a huge user group meeting in a sense. And, uh, and th there's all these announcements and all this other stuff from AWS, but I think the important thing is that we hopefully can bloody use them when they ever come to this region. And the best thing to do, I think, really, is just to get to know your peers, uh, maybe work out which industries you're in, maybe just share stuff. I think that's the best you can do, really, to, to get the most out of AWS. Um, yeah, don't go, through, don't go through the torture that I did. Don't do it. I'm just trying to help you guys out. Um, and I think that's a wrap, that's a wrap guys. That's my, that's my report. Um, any questions about Las Vegas? Um, can I just say the food there is terrible. Terrible. I was so happy to come back to Singapore and eat rice again. Oh my God. It was so <laughs> glorious. And the 4G sucks. Okay, um, any other questions? <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>